Hey, what's up guys? We uh, finally got our saddle stuff in. Got Jared Schaefer with Tether with us today. What's up guys? Show us the ins and outs of the saddles <laughs> that Kirk, Jay, nor I have ever used. Uh, so Jared is gonna, uh, there's stuff laying around here that I don't have a clue about. <laughs> I guess that's my job is just to kind of walk you guys through the, the saddle system and uh, explain all the parts and pieces and, you know, explain to, you know, you guys watching the video, maybe you've never seen a saddle and uh, hopefully show you how it works and uh, how to use the whole setup. All right, so I'll start here with the, uh, with the main components of the saddle system. So this is the saddle itself. This is the Manus. Um, this saddle weighs about a pound, fully outfitted like this. Um, this basically replaces your tree stand harness and your tree stand all in one shot. So next up we've got the Predator platform. This is basically a miniature tree stand that gives you a place to put your feet. It gives you a place to kick off and push around the tree so you can get your 360 degrees of shot selection around the tree. All right, and to hold you in the tree, you got a lineman's rope that, you know, everybody uses a lineman's rope, or I hope you do when you're, uh, you know, installing your tree stands or whatever. This connects to your harness from one hip to the other, goes around the tree. That way you're connected and safe going up. And then when you get up in the tree, you've got your tether line, and that goes around the tree, and that hooks to your saddle and holds you in the tree. So these two ropes are similar to what you would get in like a hunter's safety system, um, like a lifeline kit or something like that. Um, these are, you know, climbing rated rope around 6,000 pounds, so extremely strong, and uh, this is what holds you in the tree. So from a weight standpoint, with the saddle, the two ropes, and the platform, what are you looking at total weight there? So the saddle with your two ropes is going to be right at three pounds, okay. totally outfitted. Um, the platform is three pounds, so there's six pounds right there and uh you know whatever accessories you may carry bump it up a little bit but just your baseline weight i mean you're just starting out super low you know okay. since the saddle itself is a pound and then you know you start from there so it's it's a pretty lightweight system right so the cool thing about the saddle is you can wear it you know when you walk into the woods and you you really don't feel it since the weight's you know riding on your hips so when i put mine on i like to sling it over my shoulder like this that way I can grab the, uh, the waist belt right here. Flip it around. Put the other end. It's just like a, a seat belt buckle. And just tighten it down like that. And you've got your, uh, your two leg loops. And the, the cool thing about this saddle is it actually has two leg loop um, positions. You can run it up high on the belt like this. Or you can run it down here lower on this loop. Which do you prefer? Um, I actually like to run it lower like this. It just, it feels a little better. Um, it doesn't really block your pockets. So if you need anything in and out of your pockets, they don't, it doesn't block it too bad. But I like to run them on the lower, lower loops myself. So that's the saddle on me there. And when I'm walking in the woods, I generally run this bridge around like this kind of tuck it in itself so it uh, it holds nice and tight and you know you don't uh, you don't have a whole lot of weight flopping around on you so to climb the tree with a saddle system it's really going to depend on your situation um, everybody likes to use something different I've got sticks I've got spikes um, you can use preset trees with preset ladders it's pretty much whatever you want to use and it's not going to be any different than your uh, like your regular you know, ladder stand, tree stand, um, lock on, you know, whatever, you, whatever you've got to get up the tree is going to work. Um, when you get to the top of your climbing system is where the saddle and the tree stand are going to start to differ a little bit. So I'm going to go through um, what I would do once I get to the top of my climbing system and then install my platform. So basically, no matter what I use to climb, I'm going to be using a lineman's belt. You can see that just runs around the tree from each hip. And uh, you know that way you can lean back, hands free, keeps you safe if you would happen to fall. I've got a Ropeman 1 adjuster on this side, which is basically a mechanical prussic knot. So if I want to lengthen this out, I can just pick up on this and then pull back. If I want to shorten it, I just pull on the tag into my rope. And uh, that's a really, really handy device when you're doing this, just to keep 
that adjustability to, to your one hand. But basically I'm gonna just pretend that this is the very top of where I'm gonna climb to. At that point, I would pull my Predator platform out of my pack. I've actually got it on the very outside of my pack, so I would just reach back, pull that off, and that's when I go ahead and install this. So basically, the Predator platform is, is a miniature tree stand, really. Um, this thing is rated at around 500 pounds. We third-party tested these, and it took about 1,200 pounds to break one of them, so they are extremely strong, and uh, it's rock solid under your feet. It's a little tr trick when you're using these cam buckles is adjust them short. That way you can hold that up with your knee and reach around and then you can uh, pull out just enough to hook it onto the button. So the trick with this and getting it cammed over right is to flatten it like that, tighten that so the, uh, the rope isn't at an angle, it's just going flat around the tree. Tighten that up and then you're going to push your platform down then cam it over and it is rock solid and you can uh, you can mess with the angle a little bit you can go this way or the other way you've got an adjustment bolt here so you can adjust the pitch of it and get it perfectly level but once that's cammed down and in place I'm gonna reach over in the pocket on my right hip and pull out my tether So I always tell people to install the tether while the, the lineman's belt is on. That way you can step onto your platform and make that transition. And if something would happen, that thing kicks loose, um, you know, you're, you're connected twice. So I always just like to reach up as high as I can, bring this down, and then I'm gonna hook up my bridge. Tighten that up and uh, lock the gate on the carabiner. So at this point, I've got two connections. So then I'm gonna go ahead and step up onto the platform. All right, now that I'm up on my platform, I can go ahead and slide my tether up the tree. I like to put it about forehead level, if not just a little bit lower, and then go ahead and tighten that up. Once that's got some of my weight, I can go ahead and take the, uh, the lineman's belt off. Now I can lean back in the saddle and then just go ahead and uh, stow this in the pouch that's on my hip. So do you always leave this once once you're set up? Yep. You just leave that on there. I just leave that right there. That way I'm not fumbling around in the dark trying to hook drop it back it up or, or drop it. Yep, it's always there. All right, so at this point I'm set up in the saddle. Now I can start to make a couple tweaks to make it a little more comfortable. And I can already tell that my tether is probably a little bit too high, so I'm gonna drop that down just a little bit. At this point, I like to uh, loosen up the waist belt just a tad and slide the saddle down. And just that much adjustment right there is extremely comfortable. So this is how I would hunt pretty much 90% of the time. Um, I do use knee pads sometimes and I'll sit like this with my knees in the tree. You can turn sideways and sit like this. And you can even stand up with the uh, bridge going over your shoulder and just lean into that and you can stand like that. So in this pocket here, I've got our new uh, Gen 2 recliner backrest. So this one is a little different from our, our previous version. This is just a, a continuous loop. So you basically just throw it over your shoulder like this. You gotta hook this into the carabiner and then you can tighten, tighten your side adjustments. And that gives you something to lean back against. And the cool thing about this is you can drop it down low, down here for more support. Or you can drop it down below like this. Use it on the back of your legs. You can really put it wherever you want it. And, uh, you know, on an all-day sit or something, it's nice just to change, change up your pressure points a little bit. All right, so this is how I would be set up, you know, with my bow within easy arm's reach. I've got a hook right there. Um, for public land, you're not going to be able to screw stuff into trees all the time. So we've actually got a, 
accessory strap coming out that kind of helps out with that. But uh, to take some of the different shots is really actually pretty easy. You know, I always plan on the deer coming from in front of me anywhere over to this side. So basically from six o'clock behind me all the way around to in front of me is a really easy shot with the saddle and that's that's what I set up for. Um, but you know, during the rut when bucks are running crazy, you know, you, you can't always plan exactly where they're gonna come. So you may end up with a shot on this side. So depending on which way they're going, and I can, if I can keep an eye on them, I'll lift the bow over the bridge like this, just real nice and slow, pivot at the hips, and then I've got this shot on this side of the tree. And another way I like to do that is I'll pick up my bow off the hook, grab my tether and kind of pull it toward myself and just pass the bow underneath of my tether all while I'm pivoting on the platform. At this point, the bridge and the tether are going over my left shoulder and it's holding me into the tree. And then I can easily shoot anything out in front of me all the way to that side. At this point, it's basically like shooting off of a tree stand. It's, it's really pretty similar. So one thing that's hard to do in a tree stand is if you get a buck that comes in straight underneath of you and that's the only shot you got. So in a tree stand, you're trying to lean out all while balancing yourself and trying to shoot. With the saddle, that's actually a pretty easy shot. You can put one knee in the tree and then pivot down and shoot straight down. It's, it's actually pretty, pretty easy to do. All right, guys, so now Jared is going to uh, teach us really how to do it. We watched him do it, so now we can uh, try it for ourselves. Jay's up first, let's go see how he's doing. So loosen this. Yeah, loosen that belt. Just pull this down. Just kind of slide it down. Jay, what are you doing to that tree? <laughs> I, really like I really like this tree. He's a nice nice tree Here you go, here you go. <laughs> All right, guys, so now it's, uh, it's Jay's turn. Everybody, you know, if you're watching, please don't comment something mean about Jay. I mean, you can if you want, you know, we don't mind it, but don't make fun of him. <laughs> Thanks, Kurt. Now go ahead and move your lineman belt up. There you go. I usually take two or three short steps and then move my lineman belt. <laughs> really just comes down to getting a feel for the spike in the tree and well, how much to trust it really. A little bit of work. Yeah. It's not as much work once you get used to it. Yeah. So you don't want it too tight, but you don't want to lean way far back either. All right. Find that happy medium. Yep. You can kind of feel it when the spike goes through, through the bark. So after Jay has tried to climb the spikes out and Kirk just tried them out, why don't y'all drop in your comments and tell us who did better, Jay or Kirk for the first time? Right here's my champion belt. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> See? Discount double check. Well guys, I uh, hope y'all enjoyed that video. Uh, you can see. Brody's checking it out. He's swinging all over it. We've had a good time today with Jer Jared. You know, thank you for coming down, man. Yeah, man. It was a good time. Yeah, dude. We appreciate I it. I appreciate it. Seriously. Yep. It was yeah. a lot of fun. We're actually going to go record a podcast with Jared now. Um, so I'm guessing the video will be out before the podcast. It could be the other way around. But, yeah, it's been a, it's been a fun day, and we've learned a lot, and he saved us a lot of trouble. So hopefully this video, you know, if you all have saddles, you're going to buy saddles, this video will help you out too.